For years, my clients and colleagues have said to me that they just need a Rosie in their pocket. What they mean by that is reminders to bring them back to tools and resources that can help them be better in the moment, and a voice that challenges their thinking and encourages them to live their best and most fulfilled life. I always took it as a compliment and had a good chuckle about it. And after so much feedback and prompting, I have decided to bring Rosie in my pocket to life. Small doses of learning and inspiration to guide you through this journey of life. Here's the teaching and inspiration that I want to share with you today. You know, I've come to realize that life and leadership lessons are practically everywhere. We just have to pay attention a little more when they present themselves. And this happened to me just the other day, so I wanted to hop on in case it resonates and helps you. This came from my son, Peyton, which kids, by the way, are such a great source of leadership lessons if we pay attention to our interactions. So the other day, he was confiding in me that he's been feeling anxious lately. And I know there's a lot going on in the world. And so I said, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is it general anxiousness or is there something that seems to be driving your anxiety? And he said, you know, mom, I'm worried each and every day that when I wake up, grandma's not going to be here anymore. And my heart sank a little bit and I get where he's coming from. My mom has had a lot of health challenges lately and it can be scary. And I wanted to acknowledge his feelings and say, I get it. And the reality is, is that none of us know how much time we have on this earth. Any one of us could be gone tomorrow. And to live with that fear and anxiety every day can be paralyzing. And so what could we maybe do instead? And so what we talked about was shifting from that fear and anxiety running our story to one of gratitude and focusing on the present. So I said, well, what if when that story pops up of, oh my gosh, what if grandma isn't gonna be here? You shifted it to, I'm so thankful I get another day with her. I'm so thankful I have another opportunity for her to know how much I love her. And he said, yeah, that feels better. And it got me thinking, how often do we do that to ourselves? I know my thinking can get away from me and I start worrying about what if this doesn't work or what if this goes astray? And I kind of catch myself usually, not all the time, bring myself back and go, what do I know for sure? What do I know in this moment? What can I be grateful for? And I also have this conversation with a lot of the leaders that I coach. So I think that when we can do that, it is the focus of building a resiliency practice and of bringing calm into our interactions. So my challenge for you today is twofold. One, see if you can identify one of those self-limiting stories that causes you worry or anxiousness that kind of gets in your way and see if you can try on a reframe and notice if it makes a difference for you. Just like my son went from worrying that grandma won't be here to being thankful. And my second challenge or invitation for you is to put a little extra care and intention into one or more of your relationships today. Give people the gift of your full presence and appreciation so that they know that they are valued by you. And I would love to hear from you what opens up for you as you put those into practice and we can create a calmer, more resilient world and be in greater connection with each other. So I hope these help and remember, no matter what, never ever let anyone dull your sparkle. I'm so grateful to be on your leadership journey with you. And even though I'm not physically in your pocket, I certainly cherish the opportunity to share my heart and learnings to help you. If this message inspired you today, I'd love to hear from you or gift me a review on Apple Podcasts. Be well, my friends, and now go add a little sparkle to your day.